intuitors, it's Arya here. Welcome to the Intuit Cafe. I'm going to be doing a pick a card readings. And the reason I really love this tool is that it helps anyone tap into my ability as a card reader and then still using your own intuition to pick a reading that then will have the messages that are most applicable to you at any given time. When you have a really specific question, it's a lot easier for me as a card reader and an, an intuiter to get a little bit more accurate information. And then when you have that particular question come up for you, you have a whole bunch of different readings that you can choose from, listen to your inner voice, and then watch the reading. Your higher knowing will come through and you know basically in some way guide you to pick the right reading. So as I create these, I'll be using a lot of different kinds of intuitive tools, the Normand Tarot and some Cardomancy with just regular playing cards. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching my channel, for liking and subscribing to it. I just really hope that you are as blessed by these tools that I'll be providing as I am to be able to provide them for you. Hello Intuiters, it's Aria here and I'm going to do another pick a card reading. There are so many topics I want to cover in these, but the one I'm going to do right now is going to be to answer the question about a difficult decision that you're trying to make. And I'm leaving it kind of open, which in some ways makes it harder for me to get really specific, inf as specific information as I would like. But on the other hand, I want to have it um, not so narrow that you couldn't use this reading for really any kind of difficult decision you're facing. So I feel like you'll still be guided to whichever reading will have the most information that's the most accurate and uh, meaningful for helping you make your decision. So as usual, I have five decks of Lenormand cards here and just take a moment to sink, sink into your heart space and really feel the answer to which um, deck of cards will contain the best answer to has the most information for you. And I will say too that if, they're, if you're guided to watch more than one reading that that's perfectly fine. Also you can come back later to this uh, reading and use it again for maybe some other question. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. to do the cards in different groups here and the first ones again I know that this is going to be backwards for you but it's better for me to go left from my left to right and um, but I still will turn the cards your direction so these first two are going to be about um, something about the situation itself and actually you can use this even if you started to watch this reading and you get a little bit into it and you realize oh this really isn't isn't my story that I'm looking at, then that can kind of help you know if you really did pick the right reading, and then if, if not, then you can go on to another one. So this will kind of give us some ind indication of what the situation may be about, or some themes around it. And then this is advice of actions to take, and this is something you, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it the other way around. This is something you don't know. This information here might help you with the situation. This is something you don't know. This is something um, that your suggested actions to take. And this is the outcome. Now, if the outcome is not a positive outcome, I'm gonna take it more as in, this. it looks like this is where this is headed now, and then your suggested actions to take can end up turning that outcome into something different. So sometimes I feel like that, if it's a negative outcome, it can kind of, it, there's some value to that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, and we have a really positive outcome on this, so that looks good. All right, so something about the situation is that it does look like it's very likely to have to do with finances, but it also can be that it's something that you're really wanting to manifest and have abundance in your life in a, in a very significant way. That's the fish. So the fish can be about finances and money. It also can be about abundance and um, being in the flow. So 
you know, like where, where everything in your life is really flowing along and you have plenty of everything that you need. So if that's what, something you're really wanting to have in your life, or it's a decision that you're needing to make that has to do with a financial decision or a decision about um, some something to do in your life that, that you're hoping will bring in more abundance. I feel like in, in this really could be a love that could be a you know abundance in love in a relationship or you know something in a relationship or it could also be abundance in um, you know having everything that you really want, need and desire in life. And the moon card is really accentuating that because the moon is all about um, shining a light on things that aren't like clearly seen in the darkness I you know I would say so if it's something that you're manifesting then the moon is bringing in light to things that you maybe are needing, needing to be aware of or if it's a financial situation the moon is helping to um, like I'm feeling like defining the shadows as it were and so there's going to be something about the situation that will bring more clarity to your life. Also, the moon is is a card about recognition, so that's kind of where the, you know, the clarity, the recognition, letting you know what it is in your life that you um, need clarity on in order to bring these, these things in. So that would be the situation in a nutshell. Let me summarize again. Some area in your life where you're wanting, you're needing to make a decision regarding finances or money or something that you feel will shift your situation in regards to having more of what you want and what you desire and um, the moon is positive really positive card here so it is saying in and of itself it's saying that this situation for you there is something in it whatever your question was there's something in that decision that is of like it's worthy of you going into it's worthy of you taking a look at because the the moon is also an invitation so it's inviting you in. It's inviting you to take a look at it. It's um, help you know wanting you to recognize the value of whatever it is that you're seeking and asking about. Now, something you don't know about is now. Of course, this is like making a major decision, but the decision card comes up here and next to the fox, and the fox is about business and um, like entrepreneurship and. Um, being crafty and able to, I feel like it's about making, like what I think is what's coming up here, and this is what you don't know, is that you really do have it within you to make this decision. So you're seeking this reading right now because you're feeling like I don't know what decision to make. But the fox actually does. He's very wise when it comes to money, business, and finances. And also, I'm feeling like stretching, um, Stretching the resources in order to have so much more than, you know, like for, yes, we would all love to have like a lot of abundance in something, whatever that is that we're desiring, but sometimes it, um, the abundance comes from our ability to utilize what we have, you know, utilize the resources we have in order to have so much more with it. One thing I always have, have, have admired, I, I didn't, I grew up in some contrast, my own home, we didn't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of family members that did. And you would see such a difference in the contrast of like what we could do, you know, with, with less, we could do so much more with less. And so we had experiences in life and you know, that where our life was just, I feel like just as much of enriched with being able to do things and having experiences on even, even though we didn't have a lot of money because it's like this mindset and your decision right now in regards to the situation, like you, you you need to shift the mindset out of the feeling and idea of lack. It's like the moon is coming in to say to you, you need to recognize you already have abundance. You already have everything that you need. And the Fox is coming in and saying, um, what you didn't know is that you really have it within you to, um, take what you feel is not a lot of and then turn it into so much more and create the abundance that you really want to have but you do have some decisions to make in regards to that and so that is what the the thing that you don't know about this situation now the um suggested action this is really good this is very clear it does talk about communication in a social setting and this a very literal interpretation could be um, you know, taking to social media to get your message out or 
um, you know, starting a YouTube channel <laughs> or, um, you know, social networking, using existing social networks that you already have in order to expand and create and, you know, um, have a wider extent. And I feel like that's the fox. That's the fox's way of doing things here. He's a very savvy entrepreneur. I really do feel like this message is going to be a lot about an entre entrepreneurial kind of thing. So, um, the, the, oh, I had something I was going to say about the fox there and it totally lost it. <laughs> We're going to get, we'll get more cards too. So then the outcome is that you have great luck with contracts. The ring, this is actually, this card is the ring. This is what the reason I don't like this deck is the, some of the cards are not really clear what they are. Uh, it looks like it could be either about a bird, a window, or a violin, and it's about the ring. So anyway, rings are contracts, agreements, engagements. So if this was a love question, let me just back it up a little bit, because some of you may have still, you know, this was about abundance, maybe in love, and you're like, you know, you're wanting more um, love in your life. So again, this all still applies in the social context. It's about getting out there, and it's about, um, you know, not hesitating to, you um, you know, use the social, you use, um, you know, like even the, the garden is about social meeting places. So it even means just getting out and meeting people socially and then, you know, connecting also with people uh, in a social setting through um, messages. And the, the letter is about messages. Okay, so um, on to this. So if this were a question about love, the ring does indicate a committed love relationship. But when the question has to do with money and finances and business, it's about business contracts, agreements, engagements, and connections. And you have, like, like the, the clover is just a fantastic card to get as an outcome when you're saying, do I, you know, wanting to know, should I, should I do this, um, you know, this venture? I'm, I have a venture I'm wanting to get going on and I'm, really feeling like I would like to do it, but I have misgivings about whether I really have the resources and everything I need. I feel like this is also saying that your resources are going to come from your social network, your engagements, the way that you connect with people in some way, and you just never know how that might come into play. Um, I've had, you know, when the universe is really behind you, and I just feel like it is, um, you're in the flow of this, it, the universe will bring things to you in ways you'd never dreamed possible. So I'm going to just pull a few cards of, from tarot, and then I have actually an oracle, um, a bit of oracle advice that we're going to see what comes up with that as well. Okay, so first of all, we really got a lot of major arcana here from here on um, these four. I love to see this one here, the Queen of Pentacles at the end, because that is totally the businesswoman. She is someone who really knows how to stretch, um, you know, her resources. She has a lot of resources anyway, but then she can make and spin. I'm feeling like this, you know, like taking um, her sheep and and shearing them, and then creating and you know car carding the wool and then creating yarn and then spinning it into something, fabric, and then cutting the fabric and making the garment. So it's like this whole. Um, you know, just the magic at her fingertips, and that's what this is. And so in the end, that's what comes to you. Um, I moved the, the uh, Three of Swords over here by the Two of Swords because I felt like they went together. And this is kind of where you're at right now with this indecision. And I feel like it's coming up because there's some, there's some heart healing that needs to be done around making a decision. So if you've had a hard time making a decision, it's because, you know, you've had experiences in the past that, you know, you felt thwarted and, like, things didn't move forward as you wanted them to. You had... Um, you know, you you felt like they turned out to be a loss, but in the end, they really weren't. And if you, when you make your decision and you just get through that, you don't let yourself be held back from making this decision. Then amazing things happen. First of all, um, you have the star card, which is you know like the clover in that it's the wishing card of the deck. It will, it's all the wishes, and then the magic of the universe coming in. The clover, you know, manifests it so beautifully, quickly, easily. Um, in ways that you hadn't expected. It also, the star card can also be about social networking and, um, yeah, networking. So that's just interesting there. The death is coming up in the center, I feel, because it really is saying that things are going to transform and we just have the sun and the moon on either side and they're such powerful cards. This is a total yes card. So if the question is, you know, if it can be answered by a yes or no, then there's your yes. It's right there. 
And then you will become this Queen of Pentacles. You have the ability to just move things forward. The, the, queen, um, the Chariot is about driving and accomplishing and um, setting out and achieving your goals. And it's just all the energy is here for really making something happen. Now I'm going to uh, read a card from this deck, uh, the Soul Oracle cards. And we're going to see what comes up for you in that. This is the first one that pops out. And it is admit your vulnerabilities. And so I will just read the message quickly um, because I just find this book is so, I don't use it very often, but when I do, it's amazing. Are you feeling insecure about your future and therefore using all your mental resources to ignore that unease? Do you worry excessively about meeting your needs, whether they're physical, intellectual, or emotional, and fear that you can't? Are you secretly or openly denying your vulnerabilities or your dependence on others? Your sole purpose is to embrace your vulnerability and calmly accept the reality that all of life is absolutely dependent on the loving spirit of the universe. Your soul's lesson is to stop allowing your ego to manipulate or scare you into trying to exercise absolute control over your life. Surrender all your needs to your creator. Be grateful, be grateful for all you've received. And know that this resource is limitless. If you accept the reality that you're the beloved trust fund baby of the Divine Mother and Father God, then all your real needs will be met better than you could ever imagine. And that's a really incredible message to go along with this reading that I really feel was about bringing abundance in your life in some very physical, real, material way. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you around. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have laid out cards that will show me, first of all, this is about the situation, it will give some context to the situation, and then we have um, something you don't know that can help you affect, you know, affect what you need to know in order to help you make this decision. Then we have a suggested action, and then a probable outcome. And let's go ahead and get started. So it does look like this situation is about, about a woman and there's confusion around her. Now, this could be read in a lot of different ways. The querent may just be you and you are confused. So it's just indicating that you're having confusion about the decision you need to make, which obviously is what, one reason you're, you're coming here. Another could be that this woman is somebody else you're, you know, that your question or decision is about. But there are, there's uncertainty around all of that. So I don't have a whole lot of context to go on, but let's move on through this. So the next part is something you don't know, and this is actually very good um, because if you really you know, trust this, it will help you obviously in moving forward, and it's a very, very good thing to know. There is um, clover and birds, and this is about um, communication. The birds is primarily communication, or it can be about tensions and um, being flighty and kind of difficult um, nailing things down like birds will just scatter off, you know, they get, they get excited easily. But the clover next to them, next to the communication or the bird's agitation kind of, is very assuring and saying that, let me talk about it being communication, that, that communication in this situation regarding this woman, whether this is you, like your ability to communicate, or if it's your ability to communicate with her through this uncertainty, a communication is going to go very well. So if you have some reticence and fear about moving forward this with this, communication is going to be key in solving the situation and in you know making a decision when you're making a decision decision about what to do moving forward, communication will be key and it will you know go very well for you. So then we have the mountain and the coffin. And the mountain and the coffin, the mountain is about things, it's either at a distance and things that are blocking you, and the coffin is about transformation and then also not acting and not doing anything. So first of all, there's a couple of different ways to read this and one or more of these may apply to you. And so this is where your, you know, your own intuition will need to come into play. Um, the mountain being a distance, what I'm feeling here is that for an action, is to say that um, there's a lot of distance here right now but in the situation, but for right now, the suggested action is to not do anything about it. Now that might seem like an inaction, but it still is an action because, you know, if your question was, okay, I'm feeling like 
in order to solve this situation over here, I needed to go somewhere. I needed to, you know, go over this distance. I need to go, you know, have this trip or something. Right now, the advice is to not take action in that. And it's not saying forever. It's just saying that right now the energies aren't there for that. Not the best timing. And I will pull some more cards to figure out why. The other way to read it would be the mountain is a barrier and something that's blocking you and that barrier needs to be transformed because the, the coffin is also the transformation card. So it also kind of goes along with the inaction right now because this is kind of like in and of itself, it needs to be transformed on its own. Like it, or even saying it is transforming. The mountain, the barrier, the blockage, the distance is in the process of transforming and it's kind of like putting a cake in the oven and letting it bake. You just need to let it do its baking. You need to give it its time. And if you open the oven too soon and take it out too soon, it ruins the cake. And so acting at this time, it looks like it's not the best thing to do. However, communication is advised and it does look like, like communication will help the situation at this time. The um, outcome is that it feels like this is a very destined connection in some way with this woman. This. Um, I feel like this is the same person because the bear has two different meanings. It's either like a corporate business person and all, um, even a billionaire, millionaire, somebody very wealthy and your boss and that kind of thing. It's also about strong. So another word we can read it is just strong. But the other way to read it is mama bear. A mama bear that's very protective about her home and family. And so if that resonates with some of you, that's one way to read, read it. This is the same woman. And the cross next to it says there's different, a couple of different meanings. It can be that the outcome is that um, the like this the strength coming into play with this person is destined. I'm going to pull some more cards because I'm not getting like a really clear enough picture about what's happening here. Um, or this um, business person, they're like they're on. I feel I'm feeling like they're really on their path and coming together with their destiny in one in something that is destined and it's you know connected in some way because this is where you know our, our suggested action was that this this distance or this barrier or something in some way is transformed and it does feel like this is kind of flowing into that and the outcome is in some way um, I'm feeling that the barrier will be brought down and that um, the and it's interesting too because the bear is on the mountain and I'm even thinking what was popping into my head was the bear went over the mountain. I feel like they're, like the barrier does get broken down and the mountain is crossed over. Interesting cross and we have the mountain, the bear on the other side of the mountain. So I feel like you get over this situation. It's destined to be resolved. But I still feel like it's kind of in this flow. Like your role in this is to communicate as needed, keep that communication open, but allow things to unfold because they are. It's destined. It's happening. The transformation is happening. There is a barrier there, but rather than you just climbing over the barrier yourself, it's like almost like the bear, um, the bear just gets over the mountain. Like that's what happens in the song. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see see what she could see or whatever and the other side of the mountain was all that she could see so she gets there and then it's just like okay yeah I'm over the mountain it feels like there's just not like this it's not a big to do but it still is a big accomplishment to get over the other side of the mountain let me just pull I'm just gonna ask for some clarification here to help me flesh out this little story if this can help and then we'll do some other cards so okay so it does look interesting here we have a house and money and a garden and you know the fish is money it's usually talking about finances it also can be about abundance the house is your generally anything to do with the home and the garden is a social um, you know social place I'm, I'm gonna put these in the middle right here uh, something with a social place and so I'm feeling like in the end the way this all turns out like this is all destined it's going it's, it's going to flow together and in the end your um, sense of home and community, because the garden is community, and finances ends up coming together in, um, and you end up with, you know, like a more stable situation, and the things come together the way they need to. This is, this is a really nice picture in your life, and I feel, I'm feeling this, you know, the business CEO, the 
the mo the mother bear with the home, but also the you know the person with the finances and and things. If it has to do with like if there if the question was really about something regarding some business or um, or a love connection, it feels like it just does come together, and the um, it does feel like a like some kind of a social context ends up bearing into this. So like. Um, if there are other people involved with it, I feel like that comes together really well because the fish is about abundance and flow and the home and things there. I'm feeling like just a picture overall that things are going to go well, but again, my most strongest message here is about just being, allowing things to, un to unfold and this clouds then will go away. I feel like the clouds are here because it's kind of like you just don't see it yet, but everything is like on a track for um, unfolding the way it will need to. You're gonna get the pieces of information along the way. You're gonna get the money along the way you need. Um, you'll have the stability. The home is about stability that you need. Um, and then any kind of connections that you need um, from other people in a public way will come in as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a few tarot cards to get some more and then we're going to get an oracle um, card as well. So. Okay, so here's the words and things that are popping into mind as I turn these over. First of all, we do have an indication for some of you this is about a relationship. So if this was a relationship reading, you have like you have the money and the social standing and you have the home in the end, like it all comes together. It even feels like, you know, this is the marriage. If there was a barrier there in the process of coming together with this person, whether this is you or whether this is the other person in question, it does look like it's going to come out and it's going to end up with union and marriage. The Four of Wands also can be about community. It is kind of that garden and the home together. But uh, I'm feeling like it was the first card out and it feels like very just a very positive thing that this is, this is where it's all headed. I'm feeling this is very interesting here. Um, this guy came out and I'm just like, whoa there, buddy. And this guy here is saying, um, no, 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 hold back. Just hold back. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you know, we've got this. You don't need to come charging through. We've got this barrier. We're, we're, you know, we've got it under control. And this kind of energy of just charging through is not fitting the energy of this, the way this situation needs to unfold. And I have the um, assurance of that also with the Knight of Pentacles because he's the total opposite of the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles goes very slowly, methodically, and carefully, and plans, and he proceeds with caution and with care, and he, but he gets everything done right all the way. Now the Knight of Swords, of course, has his role and 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 at times he's exactly what you need and want, but I feel like right now that's not the right energy for this situation. The Page of Swords comes up to affirm that this communication is key and it is all about communication Communication, and it says to put in the hard work of the communication, to put in the work of the communication because that really is what is going to help transform the situation that this, this is what you don't know, this is the suggested action because it's, it's doing it on its own, but in in some sense, I almost could say we could flip these two around because really the only action to take is to take the communication because it's bringing the luck, it's bringing the, everything that you need for this situation to resolve itself. So you're not supposed to go charging over that mountain, but if you if you do the communication and everything, then this bear, it just gets over the mountain on its own. And then I have the chariot as an outcome card, which is that forward progress and motion, like things do happen in this situation and they come out in the end the way they need to, which again is just confirmed here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one card from this soul um, oracle by Sonia Choquette. I don't know how to say her name. And then I'll read that and then we'll be finished. Okay, so this message says become a clear channel I'm going to read it. The best way to live a magically empowered life is to become a clear channel for your higher self and the divine Holy Spirit of life. Are you this conduit or one that hosts the muck and debris of the world? You can begin to clear your spiritual f frequency by doing some mental housekeeping. Are you confused in any areas of your life? This is the confusion. Yet still refuse to ask for help in clearing things up? Are you avoiding what seems difficult only to allow it to worsen through your neglect? Are you absorbing the energies of others instead of directing your power to set and serve your own goals? 
Your soul's purpose right now is to sweep away all mental debris, confusion, and psychic clutter that's preventing you your I'm sorry, preventing you from being a receptive, clear channel for your higher self and divine spirit. Your soul's lesson is to take an honest inventory of all that clogs your spirit and prevents divinity from flowing through you, and then finds the discipline and courage to remove those blocks. So it's interesting that the um, mountain is the block, and the coffin is about transformation, and it just transforming on its own, but it isn't just so much on its own. It's about being a clear allowing yourself to be a clear channel and allowing those blocks of confusion to be swept away. I'm feeling here too that the you know the knights um, kind of battling out about the process that's that part of us that just says oh, I gotta fix this all on my own and the Knight of Pentacles says no let's be you know more methodical and careful here. The Page of Swords is communication but this also could just be talking about communication with spirit as well because I do get the feeling in that the um, a lot of times I have read the page of swords is actually communication with spirit so that's um, just the message there thank you so much for watching and stick around uh, for other readings in the future all right this is our third uh, deck of cards here and I'm really sorry about the glare I just there's nothing I can do about it because out at the edges and these shiny cards do that so I'll lift them up when I need to so what I've done here is laid out cards for this reading, and the first two indicate what the situation is currently at, and um, whether it's a love reading or not, um, I might be able to tell more from these two cards, or I'll read them both ways. Here is something you don't know about the situation. Here is something that's a suggested action, and this is your um, likely outcome. So let's start here. First of all, this is a totally career reading in most cases. I, if you chose this reading and it was really going to, you felt like you had a question about love, I suggest that maybe um, you check out a different one because it's it's really going to be read as career because the lilies is about career. It has some other meanings too, but in general, that's one of its primary ones. And then the fox is all about um, a business, a crafty business person. He's the entrepreneur. Um, and you know, with paired with other cards, it can mean other things. But when these two are together, we're really looking at a, at a career um, or something to do with you know what you do for for living, kind of situation. So I'm going to go ahead and and first of all talk about what these are really indicating. The lilies on their own are a card that really talks about attraction and growth and things that are developing and growing very well. And so paired with the fox who sometimes has more negative characteristics, it brings out his best characteristics and it's saying that, um, you know, currently in this situation, you really have what you need in a, for, for whatever it is that you're doing in your career wise, you're on a good track with that. Uh, if you're setting out to be an entrepreneur in some way, because that's very much what the fox is about, then things are really on track for going well. And there's, um, you know, if you have a major decision right now to make, I'm feeling by looking at these cards here that overall things are going to turn out well. And I even feel like you kind of already know what to do. The thing that you don't know about the situation is there's someone new that's coming in and they will be a very loyal partner, friend, um, you know, if this does, if this somebody does, is watching this and really it's about love in some way, love and career may be mixed together. Um, it does, you know, it could be this is um, someone that you end up having some kind of, you know, romantic interest. I'm just not really seeing it here, though. I'm going to continue to read it more from the career angle. This person is very loyal to you and will, you know, always has your best interest in mind. And so if you already know who this person is, because um, this is saying it's something you don't know. Um, you know, it could be that you're like, yeah, I kind of think I know who that is on the edge of your, you know, the corners of your thoughts. Like you, you've seen this coming in. You think you, you know, you might know someone who might be. Then you can be assured that this new person that's coming in really does have your, your back, and they're loyal to you. The suggested action here. First of all, we have distance, and then we have clover. So if you have any, any question about, you know, part of your question of what to do in this situation has to do with. Um, going some somewhere at a distance the mountain card is about distance and about going abroad or places that are abroad places that are at a distance for you it just is saying here that that something from a distance at a distance brings you luck 
Or another reading way to read it is that something that you feel right now is a barrier to you actually ends up being lucky for you. Like it really turns out to be the very thing that makes you have success. And because this is about a specific question you're having about making a decision, then if you have a question about something you're like, you know, I don't know how I'm going to move forward because I'm being blocked by this certain thing. It's assuring you that that thing in and of itself that you think right now is a block actually turns out to be something that is successful for you or then the other meaning again is to go go the distance actually I'm getting that too in some of your cases this is not a literal literal physical distance but it's just about you need to go the distance with this because it will bring success you will have luck with this so if you have a business venture idea and but you're like okay this is gonna when I set out on this this new um, and this even could just be instead of this being a person it could be that indicates something about a project that you're, um, you know, being loyal to, or that you, um, I mean, like when you think of the characteristics of a dog, that they're your best friend, they're there for you. Like this project is right there in front of you in some way, but it's a new project. You're going to have to go the distance with it though, in order for it to bring luck. So, if you do have something you're contemplating though about like at a distance then you know that it's going to be successful. The outcome is really great. Um, I'm gonna put these over here so we don't have the glare. The outcome is about, um, uh, so secrets, the book, um, things you don't know, knowledge, information, and things you don't know end up coming, um, in, in, end up par being part of what gives you the momentum for, the, for like this project to unfold to its completion. So even right now, you might still feel like, okay, I've got this barrier. I don't know how to move forward. I'm having a hard time making this decision because I, I just feel like there's so many unknowns. This could even come in like not just necessarily after you've done this and had this suggested action. It could be part of it. Like it could, it could play out in the process of this whole completion to the end of this. And that is that there's information, news information, and like everything that you need in order to make this project come out successfully that you don't know now, all the pieces of information that you don't yet know is coming to you. I feel like that really is kind of part of this barrier if it's a barrier for some of you versus the distance. That information is coming to you very swiftly, every single piece, and because we have the luck here, very lucky, um, very much just like a charmed, like everything really falls into place with this and I do feel strongly that he's connected even this writer this writer could really be this person here a loyal person to you that has the information and the pieces and so if you're sitting here thinking you know I'm not sure if I should move forward with bringing this person on into my business or not then this is going to give you the assurance that um, they have your best interest in heart and they will be really exactly what you need in this situation to bring this project to a successful completion in the end. So I'm going to pull a few tarot cards and then read a um, oracle card for you as well and then the reading will be over so just bear with me for a moment. Okay, so I grouped all th three of these together because I felt this is kind of the beginning of the story. I'm feeling like this, this, the Four of Swords is you just like taking a break right now and you're like, I've got to make this decision. I've got all this stuff to think about, but I'm feeling like I just need to kind of rest on it for a little bit before I make that decision. And the reason is, is because you've had some experiences in the past that didn't turn out so well. And... Um, Instead of like looking at the two cups there that you can move forward with, you're, you're crying over the, the three cups that are spilled and that have emptied out because of your past, you know, difficult experience. I almost feel like it was with someone who you, you know, did something within the business line and, you know, that really turned out badly. It kind of got burned. I've had those experiences as well. And so it can make you hesitant in moving forward. That in and of itself can be a barrier. So what is coming here is letting you know that you do have the ability to keep all the balls in the air. You can keep it going. So for example, let's say you had someone come in and you were like, oh, this is that person in that reading. They're that new person, but it still turns out that they, oh, they're not it. Like that's not them. And you were mistaken there for a minute. It's okay. You're going to come out of this okay. You will be able to you know, keep juggling and, and th keep things moving until that right person does come in. But I really have them coming in here. I have this three of cups where it's actually like taking 
where you before had a bad experience with three, you know, because perhaps you're already in a business partnership, there's more than one of you already, and it's like, should I bring on a third person? Or even if it's just that second person, this is talking about the same situation where you had a bad experience before, but it's you are going to end up with a better experience this time because actually you've learned your lessons. You've learned how to juggle and how to, um, you know, you learn from this experience. In fact, that's what this Four of Swords is about. It's about learning from a difficult experience and you took you took it all in and you synthesized it and it's, you know, given you the ability to now move forward in a way where you are going to be able to handle it. And then you really you do become this King of Wands. You have the, the creative mind, the passion and the ability. You have the Yang energy to, you know, just make this all happen. And, um, but, you know, don't, don't, um, neglect going within because that's really where your magic was with this you took the time to go within and get your higher knowing going on with it make sure that you do that in this situation too so even as things are moving along you know and flowing well make sure you take the time even going to somebody wise this could indicate this connection with the book and the writer that that person that, that brings in some really valuable information you need to take the time to really go over it and, um, you know, the hermit talks about even, you know, maybe it is like you even go on a, uh, away on a, like a little business trip slash vacation where you just, you know, go and, and learn, um, you know, pour over the books and the information and learn a lot, or you go on some kind of seminar thing to like increase your knowledge and your ability. And that's kind of what I see too with the page of wands and the pentacles. The page of wands is a, a guy that travels and goes places. And then the page of pentacles is like, um, you know, really considering everything that he's got in his hands and how he, what he can do with it. it. And these are all about the beginning of potential and the starting out of a new venture and, you know, things. And we already have assurance here that things are going to go well, but this is really talking about the process of making that happen. So I'm going to pull a card here from the Soul Oracle and um, just, I've really found that this, these cards, I don't use them very often, but every now and again when I pull them out, I get the most amazing pieces of advice and um, I'm going to read it from the book because even though I can intuitively read this card, the book is so great in what these messages are. So uh, this message is here for someone. If it isn't for everyone, I apologize, but for someone it's exactly what they need to hear. Right now your soul is helping you realize that the only way you can create the success you dream of in the physical world is by first mastering your inner world and that's exactly what this is about right here. The more disciplined you are in your responses, the more you'll achieve. Begin by accepting life as it comes and not wasting time trying to control it. When you take charge of your negative emotional reactions, you'll begin to tap into your true divine power. Trying to control the external world is as futile as trying to control the ocean. Your soul's purpose right now is to respond in a grounded, non-reactive manner to what life deals you and take nothing personally, good or bad. Instead, focus on what you want to create in all circumstances. Your soul's lesson is to subdue all tempting negative emotional reactions and stay connected to your higher self and divine spirit for guidance. If you do so, you can gracefully point out any po I'm sorry. If you do so, you can gracefully point any situation in a direction that favors your good and which benefits all concerned. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more of these readings in the future. Okay, so this reading, I'm finally getting one that looks to me like it really is going to be about love. And the way I've set this up, I know it's opposite for your direction. I'm doing my left to right. Um, these two are the situation where it currently stands or something about your current situation that you have a question about what to do. And making a decision. This is something you don't know. This is something that is a suggested action and this is your um, outcome. I'm gonna jump right to the outcome here. The outcome is very strong love and this this could I feel like in most cases will be a passionate you know love relationship absolutely but the mama bear um, the bear can be a mama bear kind of person female or it can also be um, a masculine, um, either male or female, who's in business, it could be a boss, um, a CEO, uh, somebody who's wealthy. Um, but it also, just as far as a person, other than a person, it means something very strong. And so when we put it next to the heart, it means a strong love, very, very strong love. Here's the outcome. So something about your decision and your question right now has to do with love. And it is... Um, 
going to develop, you know, if, if you make the movement and the, and the right decision and everything here and do the right thing about it, whatever your heart is calling to you is right for you, then it will yield a, a very strong love. So first of all, we have the clover in the, in the ship. So I'm feeling that the, the right, what's happening right now is there's a, an opportunity for some kind of travel. And I do feel distance is involved because we have the mountain. And the mountain talks about going a long distance, some, something even abroad, or it could be um, something that's a barrier. So the distance could just be you know, some crossing over some physical barrier. If it's not a, a long distance for you in this situation, I'm feeling that this trip is talking about crossing over that barrier in some way. The, the clover next to it says it's um, you, you'll have good luck. It, it's a good trip to take. So if you're considering some kind of journey in a respect of, of this question, then it's assurance here that that is a good thing to have happen. The scythe and the man talk about something happening very suddenly or being cut out. So what you don't know is that you're, you know, either very suddenly um, someone appears or very suddenly they disappear. Very suddenly a man is what it's really saying. Um, that will, you know, happen and unfold in different ways for different people. But regardless, it does seem like this man is very significant for this. It could be you. If you are a man and you're watching this, then, then that is very likely to indicate you. So something you don't know is going to happen very suddenly in regards to you. And I might pull another card to see what that might be because one, I like seeing a, a you know a character. We have the man and the woman in the deck, but when they show up, they kind of don't give us a lot of information. Whereas two cards together say a lot of things, but this really just only says the scythe because in this case, it's just we're just seeing a person. So let's go ahead and get one more card here to see what we have with this person come up. Okay, so suddenly this person has the key. It could be you, it could be the other person, but suddenly they are the key or the key suddenly appears in order to solve this problem. So this person is significant for you in solving your problem or in helping you make a decision toward your, you know, developing this strong love. And I feel like it's very likely that this is the love interest or you, it's indicating you toward your love interest. So that either way, this is the other partner or you in the partnership and the, um, a sudden breakthrough occurs with this person. This is what you don't know. So if you feel like there has been a barrier, because that's the suggested action here, then know that you will have a sudden breakthrough in regards to all of this. And that looks like it's really going to be a key thing in shifting and changing. So in making your decision, keeping this in mind can help. So the um, suggested action is the mountain and the letter. And the, the mountain is saying it's blocked. Communication is blocked. It's saying perhaps that communication about what is blocking you needs to occur. But it is highlighting communication as being important. And because we already had here is the key, there's something to the situation that either you have the key if you're the man or if, if the man is the other person, then suddenly they have the key to this but regardless, this communication needs to occur. And so if this is, because this is your reading, whoever you are in the situation, you're the one that needs to take the action on the communication regarding whatever is blocking you, which could have been, again, go back to the trip, which again, remind you, is you know, going to turn out very well. The result, of course, we already talked about. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. I'm going to just fast forward this for a moment, so bear with me. Okay, so um, I moved the star over here because I feel like it's part of the outcome here, although I do feel like it comes into play earlier, so I'm going to talk about it right now. So the um, justice and the death and the star are very incredibly powerful, especially that they came up together. I right away was hit by the fact that whoever is watching this, I feel like this situation is weighing very heavily on you. I feel like for a lot of you, this actually could be something that's involving going to court about something. So if it's if it's a decision having to do with um, you know a divorce or um, documents and things that are needing to be signed or um, judgments that need to be made in some way, uh, it does look like that really plays in a big way. And then there um, something that's in a major transformation is occurring in regard to all of this. It's if this is a, you know about love, which I feel like it is. If you know if it's about um, wanting to get a divorce and a question about whether I should do that, then 
it does feel like, you know, suddenly this key, and that's, you know, I feel like the justice in some way, I'm not just saying it's only divorce, this reads differently for different people, but this justice comes in, um, making a decision, bringing in this, um, you know, in some way, but it's very sudden and unexpected, so, and it is a key, it does, like, it solves things in ways you don't see happening yet, uh, and totally transforms the situation, and the outcome then is star, like, I could have just pulled these three cards, and that would have been, you know, all we needed here. Uh, to assure you that you do have a very, very, per like this outcome is just, you couldn't ask for a better outcome because that assures you that even though this is really tough stuff to go through, that, you know, comes into play. I'm going to read these cards. I feel like this is just kind of in, in between, like some more details of what to do and how to figure this out. The Knight of Pentacles tells me things have been going very slowly about this. So it's good to see we have some sudden action and we have the ship. The ship can just be even movement and change, although it's usually about an actual trip. The Page of Pentacles sees that, um, like, because they, there's like a progression in this. First of all, the Knight of Pentacles has gone slowly, but the Page of Pentacles has been there seeing the possibility in this and like not giving up. So I feel like if you are at that point of like wanting to give up, that you should focus on the possibility the night, uh, you know, that you see that and you hold on to that possibility. And then the Knight is the one that just keeps on plugging away through it no matter what. I do see that, that you are um, being asked to stand up for yourself in some way um, and or resist something like there's something in this situation that is requiring you to stand up for something and resist something and not back down in some way and it could have to do with making sure that you get your fair share in this and that you know you're not like left out of making sure you get what's owed you what's yours it's what is your due in some way. And, you know, how it is this ends up being love, I actually feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be like, I didn't even know this was really a love reading. I'm facing this other kind of decision. And that's because you don't see it yet, but love comes to you because of you going through this whole situation. And now again, that could be just for some of you, but in, you know, regards to if it's the love, if you know it is from the beginning. There we go. So that's almost my exact answer. I feel like this is the case for many of you, is that you you know, you're like more blocked off from love, but in the end, you know, strong love and something dependable. I feel like maybe you've been in a love situation that wasn't dependable. And, you know, if it's coming to an end right now, that was really hard. Um, but you end up having a strong love coming in. So being open to love is important. And I'm reading from this art, this Oracle deck here. And I just read it because even though I can intuitively say stuff, um, her messages are so powerful and, and they just seem like they hit the spot. I'm just going to read it. The, in, the intellect employs an interesting strategy to avoid feeling insecure and facing possible pain or disappointment, especially in matters of the heart. It gathers as much information as possible in advance of a commitment. This works up to a point, but it will never be a substitute for gaining the wisdom and understanding that only come out of direct experience. Your soul's purpose right now is to learn about love by entering intimate relationships. Surrender control and open your heart to these lessons. Ignore secondhand opinions and warnings from others to play it safe and give in to intimacy. Your soul's lesson is to stop trying to avoid pain and disappointment by withholding your heart and commitment. Reflect on, the dis on and decide what type of love you want from others and then ask for it. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can't expect anyone else to know. So be honest and take your time. If you're afraid of intimacy or fear rejection, admit it. And don't give more to others than you feel comfortable with, only to resent it later when you don't collect the anticipated return. That's what this is talking about here, um, about not giving more to others than you feel comfortable with giving. And even like holding back and standing back um, and then sending up for what you really, you know, what is right for you to have as far as love goes. But then also um, not to be so... Um, held back that you don't open up to love because you do have it coming in you have the assurance of that so thanks for watching and um, you know come back later to watch other ones of these videos as I post them all right um, I do feel that this is primarily going to be a love reading even though we don't have the heart come up here and it, I will read it a couple different ways, but um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So what I did here was these two cards represent the situation or something about the situation as it stands right now. These two cards talk about something you're not aware of. And then these two are suggested actions to take. And then this is the outcome. 
And um, so far in all of these readings, I've really let these two cards indicate what the reading is about. And this one, it can go either way, so I'll have to read both. The bear can be a person, it usually represents a person, it also can just mean strong or strength. And um, as a person, it's either a business person, CEO, millionaire, wealthy person. They really have everything when it comes to you know their finances and things. It can also be a boss. Not so often an entrepreneur, although it doesn't say it's not, but the fox is the entrepreneur. Um, the other person that the bear represents is like mama bear. Uh, you know, somebody who is very, you know, fa family oriented and very strong about family. So either that could read either way, and just because of that, I have no other card to indicate and whether it's love or not. So I'm going to read it both ways. So um, to begin with, the situation as it stands right now, and this is what makes me feel like it. Well, it could be either way. The house is usually a home, but sometimes in that it actually can mean like a small business. And so for for those of you who are it's a, a, a question that you have about business and what to do in a you know, question about business. There is the key is light resides within the business. But for those of you who it's about love, the key to this situation resides in, within the home in some way. The breakthrough or there will be a breakthrough in the business or there will be a breakthrough in the home. I feel like it's a small business. It might be a home based business for those of you who if it is business related. If it's business related, then the ring talks about contracts and commitments as far as work. But if it's not, if it's about love, then the ring talks about it, um, commitments and possible engagement as far as love. So in a partnership and a marriage. So whatever your question is in regards to something with business or something with love, the thing you don't know and you're not aware of right now is that you're your contracts engagement or something in regards to your connections with the other person or other people is being blocked and I feel like you don't know that you feel like everything is clear you've got the key in your hand and you you know you, you have a decision to make you know that otherwise you wouldn't be looking at this reading there's a decision but what you're not what you don't really see yet is how there is a block or a barrier in regards to these contracts that need to be made or the connections, the commitments that you have with someone else, or the love um, going to another level. Perhaps you do know about the mountain, and if you do, then that's that part of it isn't for you. You already are aware there's a block and a barrier, but because this is, you know, by nature, this is something you don't see yet. I'm feeling, feeling, feeling like most of you don't quite realize it, or you know it's being blocked, but you don't know what is blocking you. The suggested action is that um, travel is needed in order to um, meet someone. So if this someone is connected with your business in some way, perhaps it's somebody who has money and they will be someone who um, could be a potential investor. And if your question is about whether this is a good thing to do, if you're already asking this because you had a question about your business in some way and your new travel was, you know, could possibly indi be indicated to overcome some barriers you had in moving things forward, the outcome, regardless of whatever your reading is, is very, very promising. It is good luck and recognition and invitation, but the energy of the moon just comes over. This is, but by the way, it's the moon card in case you couldn't see. The clover and the moon. So the, the moon card is a hugely positive sign that it turns everything around. Luck turns things around. Your luck changes your luck. If if things were not going well in the, in the love situation with somebody, I feel like for most of you, um, the love situation there's some of you who it is someone you're with already and they you know they live in your home so there's something about a key in the home but I feel for a lot of you that it is um, if it's a love situation you're separated by a distance right now there are there is a barrier and that barrier is you know some of a distance that has to be gone through by travel but still the key is somewhere with inside of your home situation so for example if this barrier is this distance you know separating you then the solution then ends up being something along the line of then you know you move toward them or they move toward you like you know the key is the home you need to come together you need to you know get there and for that to occur this is what needs to take place a travel you need to go meet the person and then you do get you have a good result good outcome here um i feel like pulling some more cards and 
I'm going to do one more for each of these actually, not for the end because the outcome is really good. I feel like these others will be good. By the way, when I was shuffling, I've never had so many cards drop out when I was shuffling before. And in Lenormand, the, the way I do them is I don't take jumpers, um, just because I've, that's just how I don't, don't how I do it. I let the universe draw me into picking the cards that we needed. And, um, but still I felt the energy of this. So there's, for somebody, okay, a decision. Remember what I was saying about there is a key in the home, but there is a decision that has to be made. Well, maybe that's what this whole reading is about. It's affirming that this is a very significant decision. The decision brings a breakthrough in this barrier that's, okay. And so we have the tree. And the tree is a card about things that are really destined and have been growing for a very long time. They've been, you know, the roots of it have go, go way down, the branches go way up, and and um, it's something that's been growing over time, and it's extremely positive. There's growth here, there's flourishing. So even though it seems like there's a barrier and things are blocked in connection with this contract with a person or persons, or, you know, if it's love relationship, there may feels like there's been a barrier but there's promise of it um, flourishing in spite of the barriers and that you will overcome them and the decision again the breakthrough in, is in the decision so I feel like the breakthrough doesn't come until you make the decision this is about a meeting so I feel very clearly that we're talking about meeting someone and if this is the love it's your love interest you need to meet them or if it's business interest you need to go meet them and the travel is required to do that undoubtedly and meeting them you know the garden is uh, about going to social and public places so you go have dinner together you have a date you um, you know meet them over if it's a business and you want to do a business dinner I feel like this person is very significant so it's not something you want to just take them let's go meet for coffee I feel like it might be more appropriate to meet for dinner okay um, that's feeling lonely to me so we're gonna pull one more just because I'm a little <laughs> OCD that way there's the communication <laughs> um, oh and that just fell out we'll accept it again this is a destined connection uh, you know this I told you there was a lot of energy this this reading wanted to come out in a big way and we'll I feel like the tarot cards will show us a lot more um, communication is needed I feel like communication and an invitation is is um, like the travel is is part is part of your suggested action and Yet with that travel, I feel like this is really just part of the, the travel here that, you know, you need to send the invitation and that comes through so you can do the travel or vice versa. There's something with that. It's all connected or perhaps that then, you know, you get the good luck, you get the money and, you know, the, the, the moon is really, you know, shining on everything and bringing, bringing things out that, you know, in a very lovely way that the lovely light of the moon makes everything more beautiful in a sense. The communication occurs like maybe you get you this is somebody even just writing a check and saying okay here's the money um, or even um, you know if this is about an engagement then then this is the you know the paperwork that gets filed so you know the marriage can occur and, and the, you know signing the documents there's there's some kind of documents in play in that so I am gonna just move these down a bit so I have a bit more room I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it while I draw more cards and um, we're going to take a look at what Tarot has to say. Okay, so first of all, I just feel this is this card here can be about make, trying to make a decision. Decision, you're saying, you know, do I or don't I? Juggling back and forth your options here, but it is really um, like you just need to take this trip. And again, this is you know like the ship over the water. But I also feel that for some of you, it could be that this trip literally is helping you move from um, like like the trip is physical but then in the long run it also helps you move in a um, in a in a sense from one phase of your life to another and moving moving through things so that's just it's coming up right over here it's important to do the you know when the devil came out um, the the thing that just came up to me was was attraction and I there, this is kind of weird because like it doesn't really fit much of this reading, but this is what they said to me that um, there's a if you this is a love reading, there's an incredibly strong like sexual attraction between the two of you that's coming up here and it's like pulling in a really hard interest in you know, a very strong way. I feel like that could even have been the, the energy of this reading when it when all the cards are jumping out, but it's also interesting that I don't see 
a whole lot in the way of love, you know, love cards here. But that's okay. I'm, I'm already feeling it regardless that we don't have to see those. So um, I do feel like um, there's work that needs to be done, but it's the, the page of cups comes up and he's just saying, don't forget to have, don't forget to play and have fun and like connect, like, like literally, you know, here's a cup. He's saying to this guy here, um, can you just set that down for a minute and take this cup and let's drink and have fun? So if there was, if this is, is about work or there's been a lot of work involved in the relationship in some way, or if it is about a work question, don't forget to take, you know, to have fun and have a good time. Um, it, you know, there is an invitation here to get out into the garden, um, which is, you know, out in that social place. So, you know, do that. You're going to have a good time with that. The King of Swords, I'm just wanting to know more about him. I'm going to say first about these two, though. Uh, the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, they're both about, um, you know, building things in part. Well, this is about partnership and and building something together, uh, creating something. If there's a business, you know, that makes sense if this is a business type of question. But from a love question still, the Three of Pentacles is about partnership. And that the two of you together work to create a third, you know, entity. Um, that what you create is, is a third entity. The Three of, of Wands comes up about, like, this is something I feel like it's been, you know, brewing for a long time. That's that kind of that tree and how it's been growing for a very long time and it's just it's about to bear fruit that's the moon and the and the clover here saying that you know there's going to be a really good result from this all of your hard work does pay off like this guy you know this wasn't to say you shouldn't put in the hard work that was happening too but you know have fun at the same time i want to see more about the king of swords i'm not really sure what he's coming up here to say or about so let's see Um, I feel like in this situation here that there has been, I don't know, why am I getting all these kinds of cards right here? The Nine of Swords, the Nine of, of Wands, and the Nine of, of the Hermit is a nine that's going within your thoughts. And then there's the Five of, of Swords. So it does seem like there, I feel like someone needs to speak their truth in here. And this is really quite, it's kind of unconnected to the rest of the reading. But it came up for a reason, so I'm going to say it. And that is that there is someone here in this whole situation, whether it's business or love, that needs to speak their truth. Like, it's kind of been weighing heavily on them that that they, you know, they, they've, they're, there's been a struggle in some way. And it's important that this gets spoken. Because I feel like shining the light on that is going to help move things forward. If there have, you know, there have been barriers. And so something about this mountain and the barriers that are here... Um, like getting over that is, is, it's important that something gets said. There was a sense of defeat. This is the five of swords at one point. Um, then this nine, the nine of wands is about like, you know, trying to, you know, standing your ground, um, but feeling also quite defeated. Like he's not defeated, but he's like, it's been a hard go of it. And there's been some mental anguish here. And this person, you, I feel like this is you, um, you've gone within. Now, if this is the other person, they come up and they say these things. So, um, I, you know, again, I, this is just information that I hope will help you make whatever decision that is that you wanted to make. And I am going to pull one card from this soul oracle. I have found at times when I use this deck that it really, um, it ends up being a, I get some really good information, good good messages and stuff from it. So we'll see what we have. It says begin to explore. So let's see what message might come through. This might not be for everybody, but for those of you who it is for. Let's go ahead and read it. Are you surprised to find yourself being more, feeling more curious than usual? Are you suddenly desirous of a grander, more creative, and more sensual life than the one you have now? Would you like to break free of a rut? Resist the ordinary and rebel against what's kept you suppressed for what seems like forever? If so, be glad. You aren't having a midlife crisis. Your soul is simply reigniting the fire of your true being. This sudden longing for the unknown is your soul's way of leading you away from submission to a fearful ego and back into a joyful spirit. Rather than fight these, like, these crazy impulses, surrender to them, even if they make no sense or have no specific direction. Your soul's purpose right now is to allow you to engage in the unknown. It will direct your return to your authentic self, so follow your spirit and try something completely out of the ordinary. 
Your soul's lesson is to impose no restraints upon your spirit, but rather be receptive to all compelling opportunities and invitations. It's okay to proceed gently and with caution, but do move forward. The universe is watching over you and protecting you all the way. I feel like this decision to go, like there's something in this begin to explore in it, like, like, and the holding back, like the, some of the mental anguish and the feeling of be, being defeated in the past is, is holding you back. And maybe the key, it says the key is in the home. And, you know, there was one way to read that that I already talked about, but I also feel like there's another is like, this person has been home and you have been like, you know, staying home, being stuck in, and just being in that home space where it's comfortable and safe, but you're, you're being pushed to actually explore and go out. We have the travel here. We have the mountain, which means going abroad and, you know, the distance. And perhaps for some of you, this is about, you know, leaving your home and going out and going away somewhere. And that's scary to do. That's kind of in the sense of the three of, of wands also. And of course, we have this trip um, indicated this movement and going away as well. So allowing yourself to get out the, the garden, um, you know, that is about about going out in social public places and the ship is, is you going a distance to get there. And um, there is, you know, there's something destined for you in all of it. So if you end up taking this trip, if this is a question about whether you should go somewhere, then that, you know, maybe will help. So I hope you enjoyed these readings and do stay tuned for more of them in the future. Thanks so much for watching.